I thought it'd be useful if you discussed iron gall inks a bit next week. Some people love them, that's me. Others won't let them anywhere near their pens, so it would be interesting to hear your take. Okay, um, I'm happy to talk about this. I get asked about iron gall inks uh, from time to time. I don't have a vast amount of experience with them. There aren't a lot of fountain inks that are iron gall. Diamine Registrar's Blue Black is one that I can think of. Mont Blanc Blue Black um, is another one, or I think it's Mont Blanc Midnight Blue is the name of it. Um, I don't carry that one, but um, that is one that I know is iron gall. Um, Lamy Blue Black, I believe, used to be, and it has not been for the last year or so, um, so or maybe year and a half. So um, that one's not a concern anymore. Um, Roar and Cleaner Salix and Roar and Cleaner Scabiosa. Those are the, all the ones off the top of my head that I can think that are Iron Gall. There are other Iron Gall inks in there, and true Iron Gall is actually really, really thick and needs to be used with a dip pen. All the Iron Galls that are made for fountain pens are some kind of modern, watered-down formulation um, of true Iron Gall. So. Um, if you look up Iron Gall, actually the Wikipedia page um, for Iron Gall is really good and really comprehensive. That's usually the source that I end up pointing most people to. Uh, but basically, Iron Gall uses oak galls to get permanence uh, on paper. It's a natural form of waterproof ink, and um, it, it works well. Uh, the only problem is it tends to corrode metal. So you need to be really careful when using it in your pens. Flush it regularly. Don't leave it sitting in your pen for long periods of time. If you use it in one pen continuously for a long time, it's gonna eat away, especially gold. So you have to be careful about it. Now I believe that the modern fountain penning formulations are not as much of a concern as they used to be way back in the day. Um, the diamine registrar, as I've heard, is kind of one of the more, you know, pure fountain pen iron gall formulas, I guess, if you want to call it that. But I don't have any of the chemical information on these inks because they don't publish it anywhere. So that's just kind of my opinion, my speculation. So hopefully that helps you a little bit with iron gall. Definitely check out that Wikipedia page though. Uh, but in general, if you don't know anything about iron gall and it seems like a lot of fuss, just don't bother. You know, you can get waterproof inks that aren't iron gall these days and just not even have to worry about it.